you are now registered and have access to the content of Tabshura Middle School. Let's explore Tabshura together and learn how to make the most out of it. This is the homepage. At the top, you can choose between four grades. Grade 6, Grade 7, Grade 8, and Grade 9. If you click on the small arrow next to each level, you will see all the offered subjects. Languages, you will find different modules for each language. French, English, and Arabic. Geography in Arabic, or Geografia, and Math and Science, Math, Earth and Life, Physics and Chemistry. These courses are available in two languages, English and French. Let's continue with Grade 6 and click on Earth and Life Science. Here, you will have access to multiple chapters that conform to the official curriculum's chapters and respect the progression and learning objectives of the official textbooks. Let's choose one unit, for example, Ecosystem. We are on the home page of this unit. It is divided into four categories. I start, I discover, the lesson, and finally, I practice. Discovery is at the core of Topshura's methodology. Students learn by practicing and are encouraged to use their competencies of analysis and deduction to become active and autonomous learners. Every chapter begins with exercises that increase students' curiosity and motivate them to complete the unit. For example, it is the story of Aya who leaves her village to visit her cousins in the city. This journey leads to the comparison of two ecosystems. You can also have reminder activities in the I start section if there are any prerequisites for the chapter. Here, for example, let's click on recall activities. Students are reminded of the difference between herbivores and carnivores, as well as terrestrial animals and aquatic animals. Let's click on I start again. We are back at the home page of this unit and let's discover I discover. This is the major part of every unit because discovery is at the core of Topshura's methodology. It encourages students to learn in an autonomous and active way. This part is divided into sections. Each section is divided into groups of activities that follow one learning objective of the chapter. For example, section one tackles food chains. We are talking about the components of an ecosystem and food chains. And under the picture, you can see the objective of the activity. By the end of these activities, you will be able to identify the components of an ecosystem. As you may have noticed, the verbs used for the learning objectives are measurable. Here, identify. Let's explore this section together. Let's click on components of an ecosystem. Every group of activity begins with a document. Here, the document is an image, but it can also be a film, a graph, a diagram, an experiment, a grouping of texts. It is the starting point for reflection. First, we observe. What do you see in this picture? The living things, the non-living things. Then, we start to draw small conclusions. The difference between biotic and abiotic components. I'll try to answer this one. Let's click on the wrong answer first. So let's click on abiotic components. Click on check. My answer is followed by a feedback. Bio means life. Abiotic components are non-living things. Let's click on retry. And what if I say biotic components? That's right. You notice that even the correct answer has a feedback. To make sure that the student answered correctly and not by chance, but also to deepen their knowledge and their learning. So usually every answer, whether right or wrong, has a feedback. For the correct answer, it internalizes the learning. For the wrong answer, it usually pushes students to think again. Click on it. We have two or more statements and only one is correct. And the student will gradually construct a small paragraph that summarizes what he or she has learned. Let's pick the wrong answer for the first one. An ecosystem is a community of living things only. As you can see, I am allowed to click again and correct myself. Let's continue. And as you can see, little by little, I built 
the summary of this section. This also means that each section represents a whole, and the student or the teacher can choose to work on a single section without having to do the whole chapter. Let's click on I discover again, and this time, let's go to the lesson, everything I have learned on ecosystems. Click on it. The learning has been done in the discovery part. The lesson summarizes the important notions. They are presented in the form of slides. And when possible, the slides end with a concept map. Now let's go back to the lesson, to the homepage of the unit, and click on I practice. To check the student's knowledge, two categories of exercises are proposed. I apply my knowledge and I solve complex solutions. For I apply my knowledge, these are questions that repeat all the objectives of the chapter and verify their acquisition. As for I solve complex problems, the student has to write an answer. Writing is an important part of learning. Since we cannot, fortunately, automatically correct students' answers, we have a choice of two methods. Either the student writes his answer and the teacher checks it for him, or the student studies independently and at this moment we have an answer if he clicks on the second part of the documentation tool. Finally, I want to end with some advice. Act as a facilitator. The units are designed for the students to learn on their own, encourage their autonomy, circulate among the students, give them advice, remarks, guide them, but do not answer in their place. Let them solve the activities by themselves. This will strengthen their confidence in their ability. This will strengthen the confidence in their abilities. Tapshura fits perfectly in flipped classrooms. Don't hesitate to use it this way. Instead of explaining the lesson, ask the students to complete a discovery section on Tapshura at home, then take stock with them and take it further. If you have different levels in your class, use Tapshura to introduce differentiated learning. While part of the class is working on the platform, give more attention to the other group. Thank you.